Hello and welcome to 5 Levels. In this video I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to play uh, Blu-ray 4K movies that has DTSX or Dolby Atmos with True HD soundtracks. And we'll do all of that right after the intro. <music> Alright guys, so I'm currently near the PS5 and I just want you to know that uh, the settings uh, that allow you to play 4K Blu-ray movies with Dolby Atmos comes disabled by default on the PS5 and in this tutorial I'm going to test and confirm how to do it uh, using my movie The Matrix. I will play the first part uh, which also has uh, HDR with 4K and Dolby Atmos with True HD. Okay, uh, after I insert this, the disc inside then I will transfer to the TV so that I show you the screen and how to change the settings that will enable uh, Dolby Atmos on your home theater. However, I will show you first how it looks like by default and how the movie will play if I insert it like that without changing anything. And then, uh, after showcasing all of that, I'm going to show you how to change the settings and uh, show, show you the evidence that the uh, signal is being transferred and uh, the AV receiver is dec decoding the received signal to Dolby Atmos. Alright guys, so now I'm on the PS5 and as you can see I have inserted the movie The Matrix and it shows also that it is Ultra HD Blu-ray. If I press X and play the movie, I'm going to show you how it looks like and what will be the settings by default and how the AV receiver display is showing the signal. It should show PCM because we need to change the settings in order to allow it to play Dolby Atmos. Alright, as you can see we can uh, navigate through the menus on the PS5. Before I play the movie, I'm going to show you uh, that I'm going to audio on the Blu-ray menu and choose Dolby Atmos. Even if I do choose this choice, it will still not output Dolby Atmos. So if I play now, okay, let me just navigate to a scene. Okay, as you can see, I am playing one of the chapters right now. And uh, if I show you the display on the AV receiver, it shows that the PlayStation 5 port is uh, outputting a PCM signal, which means Dolby Atmos is not enabled right now. Okay, so now, in order to enable the Dolby Atmos on your PS5, uh, go and navigate to the settings of your PS5, and then go to sound, and then audio output, and from here, you must do the change of the settings, and then there will be a final step after turning on the movie. So first, in the output device, make sure that it's on the HDMI device, and then on the HDMI device type, make sure it's on your AV amplifier, which means your AV receiver. If you have a Dolby Atmos soundbar, click on the soundbar. Uh, so it depends on the availability of the device you're using. So for my case, I'm going to choose AV amplifier, which means my AV receiver, and then make sure it's uh, chosen here uh, at the 7.1 channels. Uh, you should ignore the adjust speaker positions because you already did, did that before when you calibrated your sound system and your AV receiver. So just skip this part and then go to this point. Audio format priority. Right now by default it's on linear PCM and click on that and make sure that you change that to Dolby if you want to play a Dolby Atmos with True HD soundtrack movie. Uh, if you have a movie that has a DTSX soundtrack on it, then click on DTS. So for this case scenario, I'm going to click on Dolby so that I can play the Matrix with Dolby Atmos. And then after doing all of that, I'll go back to the movie. So press on Start on the controller, then go to the three dots here and click on it, then go to Settings. If you go to the setting, uh, you will also see that the audio format is still on linear PCM. Change that to bitstream. And once you do that, your uh, AV receiver should receive uh, a Dolby Atmos with True HD soundtrack signal and it will change the display on your AV receiver. So to test that, let's just play the movie now. Okay, so now the display on my AV receiver has changed to Dolby Atmos slash DTHD, which means Dolby Atmos with True HD soundtrack. So that's about it for this video. I hope you gained any benefit. And if you're interested in more videos like that, uh, please subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.